centipede scene in the movie Jurassic Park? Well, in the outback of central Queensland is the place that inspired it. The only site in the world that has proof of a dinosaur stampede. The Lark Quarry Dinosaur Trackway was only discovered in the 1960s and features over 3,000 fossilised dinosaur tracks created 95 million years ago. The Lark Quarry is situated between the township of Winton and the outback Queensland and the little township of Junda. So Lark Quarry is 110 kilometres southwest of Winton on a main highway. The Lark Quarry is so special and unique because it's the only dinosaur stampede in the world. 1,600 sites of dinosaur footprints are around the world, including more around here, but this is the only one that tells a story. Two kinds of little dinosaurs, called Lyriosaurs and Ornithopods, who just happened to come in across a muddy floodplain that was here 95 million years ago to have a drink of water. And they just happened to get chased by a big dinosaur called a Carnosaur. To give you an idea what the Carnosaur was, he was a relation of the Tyrannosaurus rex. We call our Carnosaur an Australian Allosaurus because he's fairly unique to Australia. He was two metres high at the hip. He weighed three to four tonnes. The ornithopod, which was a plant eater, grew to the size of an emu, and the smaller one grew to the size of a chicken and it was a little scavenger. They just come in for a drink and they get attacked by the Allosaurus. So they've got to run around the Allosaurus to escape back to the dry land, away from the water hole, away off this floodplain. So that's how it became a full stampede. This happened 95 million years ago. Along comes a man fossicking for opals in the 1960s. His name was Glenn Seymour. And he just happened to pick up dinosaur footprints laying around on the ground in the, in the gully. He takes them home. He gives them to a gentleman who gives them to the Queensland Museum. They realised they had dinosaurs. They came out and excavated this spot in the 70s. They realised they had a stampede. So um, it becomes heritage listed. The excavation in the 70s was done by streams of volunteers coming in and out. They came out and excavated for two winters. Too hot in summer out here. And um, it happened, one of the volunteers was a gentleman called Malcolm Lark, who stuck it out for the whole excavation and was a good old worker. So they named the site Lark Quarry after Malcolm Lark. Here we got um, an excavation of 3,300 footprints, one set by the Carnosaur, and um, most footprints made by um, all the little dinosaurs, the ornithopods and ciliariosaurs running out. With a Centenary Federation grant, money came in to establish this ecologically sustainable shed. With rammed earth walls as top the temperature fluctuation, humidity coming in to preserve our footprints. To also harvest the water here and solar electricity to harvest our own power. Because we are a long way from town, so we need to look after ourselves here. The Lark Quarry area contained a little walking track called the Spinifex Walk. Now Spinifex is a native grass that grows here. It's a track up to a lookout and you look west to um, once where there was sea called Williams Valley now but it's all land now. There's little signs along the track which uh, give you a story of what animals live here like um, reptiles and wallaroos and kangaroos. And it gives you stories of the plants that grow around here, semi-arid plants. And um, it gives you the story of the termite mounds that are all over the place. And the formation of the land, all sedimentary land. You look around the walking track and you see what we call jump up country. Jump up country is going from the low land that used to be the sea, over eastern Australia, to a sudden rise to the higher land. In the dinosaur days, Jump up country was a thousand metres higher then. The weathering here has stopped. 
thank goodness for that. And so we hope to have these footprints for a long time, maybe another 95 million years. Who knows? Coming up after the break, we'll visit a working cattle station in the Kimberley region of Western Australia that provides employment and training for Indigenous people. Monday, join the investigation team. The dangerous scenario is that she could be anywhere with anyone. In the search for missing loved ones. The body was fully clothed. Real people, real cases. We just have to keep searching. Missing Persons Unit, Monday on Australia Network. At the base of the Coburn Range in the Kimberley is a property with a...